Welcome to an update on Tropical Storm Helene and she's expected to turn towards the Azores Saturday and expected to bring gusty winds and heavy rains to the Azores this weekend. This is the life of the system up to a few hours ago. The tropical storm Helene is currently located 34 decimal 1 degrees north, 36 decimal 8 degrees west. And this is about 630 miles west southwest of the Chinese air base in the Azores. She's got Maximum sustained wind 70 miles per hour, tracking north and around 18 miles per hour, and her central pressure is 988 millibars. Interest in Ireland and the United Kingdom should consult. Now, late, local meteorological services for information related to Helene. And here's some information from the National Hurricane Centre. The National Hurricane Centre has just updated uh, information on this system and here's the late cycle track guidance for Helene. A tropical storm warning remains in place for the entire Azores region. Experimental late cycle track guidance. Early cycle track guidance, and you can clearly see the various uh, models, the uh, different colours, the models are on the right hand side of the screen. and early cycle intensity guidance they mainly have it as a tropical storm total precipitable water The 40-45 knot of southwesterly vertical wind shear has really taken its toll on Helene's cloud pattern. A severe tilt towards the northeast is evident in the convectional or microwave imagery. Despite the shear structure of the cyclone, intensity is held at 60 knots. Most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds. <laughs> Little change in strength is forecast during the next 12 hours as Helene remains over 26 to 27 sea surface temperatures. Beyond that, brief period the cyclone should weaken a bit as it completes extra tropical transition rolls passing just to the northwest of the Azores Islands and traversing much cooler waters. The European models, the Canadians, still show Helene being absorbed by a larger baroclinic System in four days as the cyclone quickly approaches Ireland and the United Kingdom. GFS, which earlier indicated a different solution, resulting in a lean taking a more north northeast 
to the northwest track around the periphery of a larger complex non tropical low now shows Celine emerging with a front similar to the European and the Canadian scenario. Now we have a look at the 850 millibar vorticity, the upper level divergence, wind shear, shear tendency. A series of recent microwave passes revealed that Helene's surface circulation has been tracking quite a bit to the left of the previous forecast. Consequently, an adjustment to the best track was made to conform more with the microwave overpasses. Helene is expected to be a post-tropical cyclone when it approaches Ireland and the United Kingdom in a few days' time. And here's a look at the satellite imagery for the Atlantic Basin and the NOAA floaters on Tropical Storm Helene. We will continue to bring the latest uh, information and by the time uh, this uh, update gets released, uh, Force 13 should be continuing its rolling coverage on the Super Typhoon in the Westpac and a weakening hurricane flight. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.